Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to use the new Hue and Luma curves in Premiere Pro. Uh, for reference, this is version 13 and these have just been released, so if it changes in the future, this is the version that I'm currently on now. So, uh, to start out with, uh, you get five new curves, Hue versus Saturation, Hue versus Hue, Hue versus Luma or Luminance, Luma versus Saturation, and Saturation versus Saturation. Uh, so I'm going to show you quickly what all of those do. So first off, I'm going to show you the curves themselves with this clip right here, because it has a lot of colors. Um, so to start out with, this was like a S-Log3 clip, and I've already done some adjustments um, to bring it back. So this was originally shot in S-Log3 and just like way overexposed, uh, but I brought that back uh, with one adjustment and then this other one to bring some contrast back. So first I'll show you kind of what the hue versus saturation curve does. Uh, so you can kind of use the color picker here to select any uh, particular hue. So that one selected this kind of red orange, obviously, uh, and you can kind of drag it up or down if you want to increase or decrease the saturation of that particular hue. Uh, say you don't like the yellow and you want to decrease the saturation of that, you can do that. Um, or if you want like skin tones or whatever, uh, you can pick those, uh, which are already kind of overlapping with the other ones. So a little tricky, but you can do that. Uh, next up in the hue versus hue, this is where you can change individual colors. So if we want to change that red again, we can just select that. Uh, we can bring that up or down. Up gives you kind of more of a pink. Uh, obviously don't go overkill, like this looks disgusting. Uh, but you can make subtle adjustments and still have it look good. So this way you can kind of give this a little bit more of like an orange kind of look. Uh, if you don't like the blue, you can make it like a little greener or you can make it more blue or more purple. Um, obviously these look terrible, but you could actually use those to make it look better if you want to. Uh, this is just an example. Uh, next up we have Hue versus Luma. Uh, and this is the luminance of each individual hue. So again, with the red, kind of drop that down and make the red darker, uh, which totally ruins his skin tones. Uh, but you can kind of make a subtle adjustment there and still have it look fine. The the blue you can really mess with and kind of just pull that way down because there's no like skin or anything that's going to break uh, if you mess with the blue here. So say you like that, uh, you can even kind of move this one a little bit over and just kind of make all of the blues darker. Uh, say you like the yellow and want that to be brighter, you can do that. Uh, and obviously like be tasteful with this, like don't destroy your image like that. Uh, so that's pretty much all those curves. Okay, so for the next two, I'm gonna use a different clip just to show you uh, how these work a little bit better. Uh, this clip is a little bit darker, so it'll show you how this works with like shadows and highlights. Uh, so first off, I'm just gonna kind of make this a little bit more dramatic uh, and just like push the shadows down a lot, maybe bring the highlights up a tiny bit. Uh, and then to show you an example, I'm just gonna make this a lot bluer in the shadows and then maybe give a little bit of like gold back into the, the highlights just for like the, the Christmas lights. Um, so from here, I'm gonna add another Lumetri color effect uh, just to do the curves on a separate layer. Otherwise you get some kind of funky effects depending on like how they, um, or like the order of them. Okay, right. so now that we have another layer here, I'm gonna show you how these two curves work. But, but first off, uh, the way that light naturally works, uh, the darker something is, the less saturated it is. Um, so say someone's wearing like a dark blue shirt and it's like very dark outside, you're just gonna think it's a black shirt because there's not enough like actual like light coming back to like bounce into your rods and cones to decipher that, that that's actually blue just because there's not enough light there. But uh, when you're color grading something, it doesn't really know that uh, until you have these curves. So you get kind of a map of like, this is dark over here and then this is uh, white over here. Um, so naturally uh, this would be desaturated in the shadows, uh, just because there's not enough light coming back off of that. So you can still kind of have that blue cast, but you can make make sure that, like the dark points are actually like black, and then you still get a bit, little bit of blue depending on like how you finesse like this second point here. Like obviously, like if you go way out here, then like half of it's going to be like almost black and white because there's just like that's half the image. Um, but if you come over here, you still get like a little bit of the blue cast, and you still get some of that mood, but you don't get like the unrealistic quality of it. Like, you still get black in these like dark points here. And then for the highlight part, um, some people like to say that like, if you bring this all the way down, like that's how it kind of should be because like pure highlights should be just like pure white. Uh, but you can get creative with this. Like say you want these Christmas lights to be like very yellow. You can raise this and you get a little bit more of a, like a yellow glow to those. So that's kind of a little bit more of a creative decision. Uh, and obviously like if you want to 
make your shadows really blue, you can do that. Um, just like a little bit more realistic if you bring those down, but like the highlights, you can kind of play with a little bit more. Uh, and then obviously in the middle, you can kind of get crazy with this. Like say you want like the, the fish bowl to glow a little bit more, have a little more saturation. You can raise that here as well. Um, generally, I just use this to kind of desaturate blacks and then play with the highlights a little bit. So the saturation versus saturation curve kind of works a little bit in tandem with this one, but depending on the image, it might be a little bit different. So like obviously the way that your camera will capture saturation will be kind of similar to how your eye does. So like darker things will be a little less saturated. So you can kind of think of like this end generally as being darker and over on here will be kind of where your highlights are. Although depending on the image, it might be a little bit different. So like this one in particular uh, is pretty dark. Uh, and you get a lot of saturation like kind of in these like highlight or mid-tone kind of areas like here and like in the fishbowl. Uh, so here we can kind of find those, like we can just pick this up and kind of sweep it around. Uh, and you find that like most of the saturation is kind of like down here. Uh, so you can kind of raise that if you want those parts to be saturated. And then if you like want the shadows to be desaturated more, you can do that uh, on this end. Uh, jumping over to this clip, we can kind of see this work a little bit differently. Uh, so obviously like the red is very bright and very saturated, so that's kind of going to be on this end naturally. So if we raise that, obviously like the red and like those kind of colors, like the yellow, are all going to go up because they're very saturated. But if we see like the jacket a little bit darker and not very saturated, so that'll fall on this end. So if we want to like just raise the jacket, we can do that there. Um, and obviously if you raise all these, it's just going to look gross. So like maybe have the middle kind of down, uh, increase the saturation of the jacket, increase the reds, and you can go from there. Uh, overall, I really don't use the saturation versus saturation too often. It's just when you want to make a couple like fine tune adjustments like, like those ones. Um, but generally I don't touch that one this much. Uh, I usually stick to like lumen versus saturation and then uh, both of these and I get most of my results that way.